In the 1990s, the RA Skills made a conscious decision to modernise and contemporise. When digital printing first became known as a possible fine art medium, the Royal Academy began to collaborate with Epsom. Originally that started off on a small scale and then we built the Epsom Suite which provides technology and machinery to facilitate the printing of large format digital works. The students use the Epsom technologies in many different ways. For some it will be creating a film, for others it will be as high-end photography and just when we think we know all the given forms they redefine that by doing something unexpected with it. I've been using large format digital print for a long, long time. The Epson print is in particular since 2005. The new P20,000 that we have here is very, very fast. The quality, the sharpness, the clarity. In the past, I felt you had to sort of be a certain distance away from the artwork and you can get closer and closer and closer to the artwork now and the detail holds up, which is, is, is amazing. This gives you creative freedom in the sense what you're seeing on screen is what you're going to get from the printer pretty much. I mean, there's always a deviation, but it's far closer than previous generations. My work is predominantly based in printmaking. I make prints, mostly digital prints, based in photography. I started actually using Epson printers 14 years ago, and I continued in Royal Academy basically throughout this time. I make large pieces, but they're very intense pieces. They're full of detail. My attempt is to draw the attention to every single element of that complex, chaotic structure. The new printer P20000 has been a, a great addition to the Epson suite here in the Royal Academy. Uh, the printing itself takes about one third of the time that it used to take. I was afraid that such speed might compromise the accuracy or the color intensity, but it's actually completely the opposite. The printers give uh, more and more possibilities of printing more colors, of printing broader tonal ranges, the printing more accurate uh, gradation and so on. In my artwork, I deal with um, the theme of the cultural displacement and also the cross-pollination of the architecture and the female identity. When I make my work, I look at the light that exists in the space. The light actually dictates my work. The printer that I use, it must bring my rich colors, yet also the black plainness. I want to have a black that has also this depth in it. So through the black, I want to see other black. My print must look very clean, and that's just why I find the Epson printers works really well. One of the things which I think is particularly important is the way the schools interact with the rest of the academy. And I envisage the schools as being a bit like the Royal Academy's research and development department. We're engaging with the world now and where the world is going. The founding academicians wanted to create a space where they could meet each other and sell their work. But very importantly, they also wanted to create a school where they could pass knowledge on to the next generation. Epsom set us up on our journey to look at the possibilities of new technologies, to align ourselves with the modern world and effectively help change uh, or bolster the whole philosophy of the new art school. Our students can take the best of our tradition and also can have the space to experiment and work with the technology of the future. And that's something that I think makes us very special.